Hey guys, uh, I thought I would show you a quick video on RetroArch. It is kind of like a uh, software suite that um, helps you emulate and control all of your uh, emulators and ROMs like Super Nintendo, Sega, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, all that kind of stuff. And instead of having separate emulators uh, to run them and having to start them up, RetroArch kind of compiles them all into one, one uh, specific program. And uh, I know you guys, some of you guys were interested in seeing that. So um, you just download it. Uh, you don't even have to install it. It's just ready to go. I'll do full screen there. And this is it. This is the whole thing right here. It's not real super in-depth. Um, but once you've uh, uploaded the core, and the core is just the emulator from online, uh, and you get your ROMs, your games, uh, you scan them, import them all in, um, it looks like this. And you have Game Boy Advanced, uh, Game Boy, Super Ni or Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega is what I have imported right now. And um, you can pick any of these games and play them right off the bat. Uh, you can go into the settings for RetroArch and set up uh, a uh, controller. Like I'm using an Xbox 360 controller right now, um, and I can navigate with it too. So that way you can like sit on your couch, put this on your TV, you know, and uh, be able to control the whole thing. So once you map the buttons, uh, it works not only with RetroArch, but with the games as well. You don't have to remap them. So um, what you do is you just go in here, uh, pick your game that you want to play, and click the A button. Uh, I have uh, recently played stuff in here. It's a little bit easier to find some of the popular games you keep playing. Unfortunately, like if you want to find... Super Mario Brothers, you've got to sift all the way down through your, you know, boatload of games. So maybe you might want to um, kind of trim the ROM folder that you have to just the games that you really want to play. Um, there's no way to make favorites right now that I know of, so maybe they'll put that in later. I don't know, in an update. But for now, I've imported, like, all of my ROMs for each system. So the lists are, like, extremely long. So they're kind of hard to get to, like, some of the cool games that you like to play if you have to move through, like, you know, Barbie Supermodel, which is something I love playing, but I don't know if you guys want to, or Barbie Vacation. So, um, but to give you an idea, um, here's Sonic in my recently played stuff. I click A, I click Run, and um, you can make this pop up in full screen, too. And right now I'm still using the Xbox 360 controller. That's already set up for it. Works as it should. All the buttons map proper, perfectly, and uh, it's a full-blown game uh, with no issues. I push the L3 and R3, which I've designated as my exit button, and it brings me right to this. Um, you can make it so that this runs in full screen all the time, no matter what. That way, it doesn't uh, go to windowed mode on you. Um, still using the controller. Close it out, and. Yeah, it's a full screen again, just so you guys can see it well. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, you do that with every single one of these. Just go down the list, select the game, hit the button, it starts playing. Um, you can go to the online updater and the core updater, and the cores are emulators. And here's kind of the list of emulators that are available. It's pretty much like PlayStation 1 and down. Um, no PlayStation 2 or Xbox or Xbox 360. Um, unfortunately, there's no Dreamcast either. There's a way to import those in, but I don't know how. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to get like the MAME stuff to work quite yet. It doesn't work right out of the box. But you can say like the PlayStation, PSX, Virtual Boy, uh, Atari, you know, all these types of things. So uh, look at the cores, see which kind of ROMs and games you like to play and import them in. So, um, yeah, I'll put a link in the description below on where to uh, upload, or um, I'm sorry, download the um, Arc, uh, Retro Arc, and then I can, I can just, of course, give you guys the ROMs of whatever you want. But I'll show you kind of quick how easy it is to do it. So right now I don't have Nintendo 64 in yet. So I will 
go down the list, which unfortunately it's not in alphabetical order. So, but you only have to do this once. Once you import them, you shouldn't have to do it again. And I will look for a Nintendo 64. Here's the first one I found. You can see at the end of them over here, like it tells you which emulator it actually is. Um, you can probably go online and take a look and see which ones are the best emulators out of the list they give you. Some are maybe a little bit more friendly or less glitchy than others. So downloading and extracting does it all for you. Just goes to the internet and downloads it. I'll back out. And then um, if you'll notice, it's still not up there yet. You have to install the core and then you have to scan the directory of where the ROMs are. So you do scan directory. I've already got my directory, uh, just the top level uh, designated. And then I made an N64 temp. Instead of ex showing you 300 games, you know, 300 ROMs to download and uh, scan, I'm just going to do like a couple of them. So there, finished already. It was three different games. And now when I back out, N64 is available. And it looks like it didn't pick up some of the other ones. Uh, the ROM directory that I have has got a lot of junk in it too, so it might have not matched up with all those games. But got Super Mario 64, click on it, click run. The first time you run a game, um, it'll ask you which emulator you want to run. Uh, that's because you can have multiple ones, but once you select it one time, it should be good to go. And all these cores can be me, Mario. kind of, uh, you know, manipulated however you want to. Hello. Starts in full screen. Still using the Xbox 360 controller. Never have had to use the keyboard or mouse or anything. So. Hey Mario. It plays just as it's did. Oh yeah. Do the flip. Of course, this is one of the most important games to want to play of almost any emulator from. So sit here and play this for another four hours. Just like I'm going to be doing right now while recording and making a video for you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so pushing L3 R3 again, backs me right back out, and you kind of get the idea of how it works. So yeah, um, I would run this in completely full screen, but it actually doesn't uh, work with the recording software here, so uh, this is the best I can do. But uh, there's an option right here under video and then use full screen mode, which means it's in full screen all the time, which is really cool. Tons of other things you can manipulate and screw with to make it probably break, which I don't recommend doing because I have no idea what these things do either. But uh, yeah, so uh -huh. uh, give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, give me a thumbs down if you're a jerk because I went through the time to put this together and everything. But uh, yeah, if you want, if you think you'll like it, uh, I can try to give you a how-to video from my side of like how to do some of the stuff and everything, like how to do the initial setup maybe. But uh, yeah, okay, cool. Thanks guys.